Welcome to my channel. We do unboxings, limited editions, hauls, and mystery boxes. You know, I love to shop and show you what I got. And we do everything here from beauty, makeup, skincare, wellness, self-care, lifestyle, and throw in a little bit of coffee, tea, and candles, and jewelry on occasion as well. Thanks for being there, subscribing, watching. It really does mean a lot to me. At this point, I'm sure you've seen a lot of these videos for FabFitFun. Um, I hesitated filming this because of the fact that there's so many out there, but I watched a bunch and some of the pics I made um, are not in some of these. So I figured, well, maybe I'll show it to you anyway because uh, there might be some new things for you there. So um, FabFitFun is quarterly, um, lifestyle, mix of everything. Um, and um, it's, I think, works out to 45 a month, a quarter if you buy annual, and then you get to do full customization. And it's more, I think it might be $55 if you do it quarterly. The prices keep changing, or a lot of the prices have changed on the boxes, so I think everything's going up a bit. Um, I, my subscription had ended, and I wasn't going to renew it, and then I saw some advanced spoilers and it looked fun and interesting, and I had serious FOMO. Um, of course, not, as it turned out, none of those came to be, but that's okay. So I figured I'd, I'd take a shot at it. Um, and what I do with these usually is I watch for the spoilers and then make a decision if I'm going to take it or not that quarter. So spring had a lot of items in it. Um, you know, my feeling on uh, boxes are probably different than others. Uh, because I get so many beauty boxes, I like my lifestyle boxes to be heavier on lifestyle and less on beauty because uh, I have enough beauty products. So um, this one seemed to be very heavy this quarter in beauty. And you'll see what I mean as we go through the choices. Um, so it was some of the choices were kind of difficult or kind of lesser or, all, or of all evil kinds of choices for me. Um, but let's take a look. It came in this really pretty um box and these are nice storage boxes um so let's take a look and see what they sent they were six to eight items depending on how you chose um because item six could have been a one item or a three item so there was some variation there um so let's see what we there's a nice magazine this magazine used to show us all the choices and the prices and things like that they don't do that anymore there's articles in here and then they categorize some of the choices by um, types of items so um, nice articles something to look at to read later on um, so we'll just go from there so um, categorization one if I can do, do it in order here the one and two are usually the heroes or one or two are usually the hero items in the box so category one there was a choice of um, a christoph robin regenerating mask and i'm just going to talk about the items as like as i go through them as far as how i felt about them um nice product i like christopher robin have a lot christoph robin have a lot of their products um, but i also have a lot of hair masks right now so um this one has prickly pear oil which i've later come to find out is an amazing amazing product but again um i have a lot of his products and a lot of other hair masks so i decided not to get that one but that looked a nice one then there was a coastal cooler from L Space. Um, I got the cooler from them uh, last spring. It probably was or summer, um, and it was uh, from uh, another company, business something or other. Um, so, and I haven't even used it. So uh, another get another cooler. My lifestyle is not cooler based. <laughs> there was a beautiful um, Lazy Susan, wooden Lazy Susan from Caravan. Um, I thought about that, um, but again. Um, I should really hold this up as we go through the choices. Let's start here. Here was the um, the Christoph Robin hair mask. Here was the um, the cooler, and here's the Caravan um, with, with acacia wood, which is supposed to be really nice. Um, and it almost shows that, but um, but I didn't. Um, then there was a, um, a lot of Fenty products, and while I'm sure Fenty has wonderful products. I get tons of that, those choices in a lot of my other boxes. So um, this is a um, lip plumper and luminizer. And I know there have been some reviews that it slightly stings. So I, I didn't really know, but um, was it enough to make me want to try that? So I skipped that. Um, this one, this Fenty um, was a highlighter. Um, I don't tend to wear highlighters. If it was a blush or a bronzer, I might have considered it. 
um, or even a pressed powder, but um, being highlighter, I just don't need any more shine at this stage of my life. And this was a diamond bomb all over diamond veil. Again, another kind of a highlighter. So I skipped on that one. And then we got to the robe. So um, this robe um, looked really pretty. Um, it came in multiple sizes, including plus, which I appreciated that they did that. And it came in two colorways from Morgan Lane, who I've never heard of, but evidently is a nice brand. Then there was this um, from um, Alice and Olivier, this um, duffel bag and hat. Um, and I got the duffel bag last year. So this is a repeat item. So I wasn't going to choose that one. So those were the choices for number two, one, one, excuse me. And so all things considered, um, I took the robe and I chose the robe in the navy colorway. Um, again, I don't tend to wear robes that are tie robes. I like zip up robes, but um, it's nice to have this. And even if I don't wear it, I can keep it as a, you know, a robe for guests or something like that. Um, let's take it out of the wrapper and see how she feels here. Um, now, a lot of the robes on their website are satin and that justifies the couple of hundred dollar price. This is a poly. So I'm not sure how they're justifying $200 for a poly robe. Um, again, I don't know a lot about Morgan Lane, um, but it is, this is a, on the tag Morgan Lane for FabFitFun. So it was a special collab that they did, but it is a pretty robe and it looks to be um, below knee length. So I'm, I'm sure either I will get wear out of it or like I said, I will put it aside for, uh, for a guest um, when they visit or something like that. So that was customization one. Now let's go to customization two. Let's see what the choices were there. Um, customization two um, was a pharmacy bl uh, brand, a uh, nice brand, a honey moisturizer. Again, I'm overrun with moisturizers right now, so that wasn't going to be for me. Paracone, another wonderful, wonderful brand. And this was another moisturizer. I was kind of surprised they had two moisturizers in the same category. Um, or even in the box for that matter. This is from Bando. Um, I, I'm, I know this is a high, this is a boutique line. You'd find this in a lot of boutiques. Um, I know this because I used to have a boutique, so, so I'm familiar with the company. Um, this is a set of four glitter infused double walled acrylic tumblers. Um, it's made in China, not that there's anything wrong with that. I, I, not for me, I, this is just something I would never use. Uh, Caudalie, another really nice brand, um, but I'm overrun with that from some of my other boxes. But this is the Vino Pure Oil Control Moisturizer. So it's a third moisturizer in the same category. Kind of strange that they did that. Um, then there was this Yoga Wake Up, um, which I thought was very intriguing. We'll talk about that more. Um, and then there was these Splendid Faux Fur Slippers. Now, I might have gone for the slippers, except that Therabox in January had similar slippers. So I have a pair of these slippers. Um, so um, I wasn't going to choose them here. Um, then there was a Kate Spade wristlet. Very pretty. Um, I have plenty of wristlets at this stage of my life. So... Um, I went with this um, yoga item. Very interesting. I try to choose lifestyle kinds of items in my lifestyle boxes. It's just how I am. Um, I take the um, health and beauty aids and cosmetics and skincare um, only if I really can't find something else. But again, I have so much of that. I look to my lifestyle boxes for lifestyle. I, call me crazy, but that's me. So this yoga wake up um, looked very interesting to me. This is a $49 value. It came with a pillow that has these, and this is why I'm filming because nobody, I, I haven't seen anybody unwrap this yet, but here's the pillow, which is really the size of kind of a small travel pillow, but it has these little very sharp acupressure points on it. Now, um, I'm the kind of person that likes her naps, so I do, especially on the weekends, take naps. So I thought this might be something to try out um, and see how that works. They feel very sharp, so I'm curious, but um, otherwise it's um, filled in with like a lot of like rice or, or it's like a, like a bean bag thing. Um, I, because of these little things, you can't put this in the microwave. Sometimes you're able to heat these pillows, but not this because of the mic. We can't do that with the microwave. Um, I'm not sure if you can put this in the, um, the fridge. Um, they don't, they don't really give you a lot of information on this. Um, the acupressure pillow contains several hundred plastic points which apply pressure to many acupressure points on the back, neck, hands, and feet. 
Um, so I'm curious to, to try this. And you also get a three month audio guided yoga app in a uh, subscription. So um, I thought that might be fun to try. I know some of the yoga you can even do from bed. So talk about height of lazy for me, but that, that sounds like it could be something I could try as, as, a, as a beginner. That might be fun. So like I said, the value on this was 49. The value of the robe was 200, which I think is crazy. So already the box is worth $250. Okay, well, I don't know about that. Um, so anyway, so that was my second item. Choice three, we had a choice of um, a Kate Somerville um, exfoliate pure exfoliating treatment. I get tons of this in my box, other boxes. Um, Pre-revive, um, pre-revo rather, the Juliet black sunglasses. I might have gone for this, but I'm no cat eye is not a good look on me, so I skipped that one. Um, Another Kate Spade item. This is some jewelry. I uh, very very minimalistic and small. These are mini small square studs, so I'm sure they're very tiny. Um, so not for me. Um, then there was assorted greeting cards from Erin Condren, and I did consider that because that looked like a really nice selection of greeting cards. So that was one item I was looking at. And then there's the Gaia Ultimate Core Toning Kit. Um, not something I would use. Um, and then the last item in here was the Shoshana umbrella with daisies. Now, um, Shoshana is another brand that's a boutique brand. Um, we used to, I used to sell some of their items in my boutique. Um, so I, and I can always use an umbrella. So I went with the umbrella this time. I haven't seen anybody open the umbrella, but I'm sure people have gotten it. But I thought these daisies were really cute. Um, kind of reminded me a little bit of the duffel that I had gotten from um, Alice and Olivia, uh, Alice and Olivia, Alice and Olivia last year. Um, but nice size, feels good, and it's an automatic. It says, don't rain on my parade, very cute. So uh, we can always use a, a fresh umbrella, carrying case. So this this is the one item I actually was very excited about, believe it or not, for the box. Um, again, the value on here is forty dollars. So um, I was happy with this, and as it worked out, um, as it turns out, I know that All True is also offer, offering an umbrella in their box. Um, but I have to say that was the, the only thing I liked in their box, so I'm skipping that one because I don't need another umbrella and. Um, there really wasn't anything else in there that I really wanted this time. So um, that was our fourth, I think it was our third item. I lost track here. Number, number three. So number four, sorry about that. Number four, we had a choice of um, the Mantra Band cuff bracelet. Again, Mantra Band, another boutique. So now I see um, a lot of boutique items coming into these boxes. Um, I used to sell these in my store, so I didn't need that one. And then a lot of it's a 10, and I used to use it's a 10, haven't in a while, but um, they had one that was their regular one. They had one with carotene. They had one for coily, curly, coily hair, which usually when I don't blow it out is. Then they had a, Jose, a, a Josie Marin, which is really nice, an argon oil body butter. Um, I like I like it. I've ended up would have ended up giving it to somebody, I'm sure, because I, I like the thought of it, but I probably wouldn't have used it. Um, and then there was a um, a spoon rest from Favor. So those were the choices. So I took one of the It's a Tens. Not that I needed any more hair products because I don't. But I took the coily one because, like I said, lately I just had my hair done, so they blew it out. And sometimes I blow it out, but a lot of times lately I've been wearing it curly. So. Um, decided to to get that one and um, that was that so that's the the one kind of hair product i did get this time and then um then we had another choice this is for number five you had a choice of hair clips a two-pack of hair clips which i don't use my hair's too short and i don't use it anyway um this is even prime this is hypernova dark circle reducer eye serum plenty of these i don't need it um I don't need to try another one. And then an Earth Harbor Glow Juice Refining Eye uh, Mask. Tons of glow, glow recipe, glow, glow, excuse me, Earth Harbor in, my, in other boxes. I probably even have this in the closet somewhere, so didn't want that. And then this Sorbus um, Makeup Organizer with Daisies. This was a repeat item from last year. 
but I ended up taking it and I'll tell you why. The one I have, I actually use, I have it on my nightstand and I keep um, hand creams and things of and essential oils in it. And lately I've noticed at my desk, um, I have the same thing. I've got hand creams and lipsticks, lip glosses on my desk. So I thought it would be nice just to put on my desk and organize all the loose items that I have around. So I ended up getting a second one. Um, it was, I actually enjoyed the first one so much. It's a nice size. Um, and so that's what I did. So that's a $30 item right there. And again, this is definitely something I will use um, right away. So the daisies are very happy. So there's that. Now item six, get this out of the way. Item six was the one that could be various. Um, they gave us a lot of different choices. Now, six used to be something they picked for us, but now um, they're, they're giving us a lot of choices. So um, you had a choice of either the um, Butter London, the Teddy Girl eyeshadow palette, which I did think about, but I have so many eyeshadows. Um, the Hourglass Ambient uh, Strobe Blush, I'm getting another nice product, um, or this uh, necklace and earring set from Coach. Um, so you could have taken that, or or you could have chosen this tropical topical sea, uh, which is like a powder that you make into a serum. Um, got tons of serums and vitamin C's. Um, this Millie jewelry case was the other choice, um, and then or you could have gotten um, some duos: the Winky Lux lip oil with the London Town cuticle pen. Um, you could have gotten an Ernie Laszlo. Um, SEMA Deep Cleansing Bar with Lark and Ives Hair Scarf. Uh, there was this other one with a um, London Town uh, Cuticle Cream Pen, the Humankind Hand Scrub and an Ico Double Action uh, Stick, uh, eyeshadow stick. There was a Winky Lux, um, I just lost it. Um, sorry. So there were, there were the Wiggy Lux Double Action Shadow Stick with the um, Lip Oil, Ico, uh, the Icado Shadow Stick Daily Concepts Dry Brush. So there were lots of different choices in here. I um, didn't want any cosmetics or anything like that because, like I said, I had them. So I went with this um, Millie Jewelry Case. I don't think I have a jewelry case. And this is a really nice traveling jewelry case. Uh, even if I'm not traveling, I have lots of like loose jewelry and things that I get, and it's nice to just keep it all organized. So um, I thought I would get that. Really pretty. Zip around, and then it has a little mirror, which is also very nice. And then um, some little cat things to put some earrings or some rings or things like that. So that was my choice there, and the value on that um, it was $45. So my box came out to $387, which really is amazing um, when you think about it. Um, and there are some items in here which I'm really excited and happy about. So overall, I'm excited about this box and happy about this box. Let me know what you got from FabFitFun. Um, like I said, I decided to skip uh, All True when I saw um, their spring selection. I have one box left. Believe it or not, I got started All True September of 2020. I've been skipping so many boxes that I still have one left. So I'm very picky, I guess. Um, but when I saw the choices this time around, they really just didn't speak to me um, at this stage of my life. Uh, so I skipped it. Um, anyway, um, hope there'll be more coming. I have a, a lifestyle box that not everybody unboxes, a special one that I that I have a new subscription to, so I should be getting that shortly that I'm excited to share with you. And um, I will see you in our next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.